Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a good week so far. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using only drugstore products. I really want to show you that you can definitely create a flawless soft glam look using foundation that's £10 instead of £35. This is the makeup look that I am going to be recreating today. I did use all high-end products creating that makeup look but I'm going to show you that you can definitely create that look using cheaper products. So I went to Superdrug and I bought quite a few things from there. I bought things from Maybelline, I bought things from e.l.f. Where else did I buy? Oh, Revolution Pro. And some of the things that I am going to be using, I have been sent in PR from companies like e.l.f. as well. So let's start doing some makeup. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. So this is £9, I think, which is really good. And I've used this before and I really, really like it. It literally looks like paint, but all I do is just literally scrape some out of the pot and then I just warm it up in between my fingers. and then just pat it into the skin. But this would be really good if you have oily skin. I actually have quite dry skin at the minute, but it's not matte to where it's like, it feels like it's gonna crack on your face or anything. It's just almost like a, a moisturizing matte, if you know what I mean. So now I've applied primer, I'm next gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation and this has 30 hours wear on it. I don't think I've ever worn my foundation for over a day. I've obviously gone a night out and then slept in my makeup a few times and even then it's not 24 hours. Oh, maybe flight attendants. Flight attendants will probably wear their makeup for like 30 hours if they're on like a really really long flight or something. This foundation is full coverage and it's also matte and I have got the shade light beige. So I've just applied some to the back of my hand and now I'm gonna apply it onto my skin. It's actually quite a lot more runny than I thought it was gonna be. Like I thought it was gonna be really really thick but it's not. I feel like this is quite light for me actually. <laughs> actually no I think it's probably the right colour you know never tell until like I've completely blended it in. Okay so I probably did about two pumps or so on the back of my hand so let's see how much this actually covers my skin. I'm pretty sure I've used this before and I really really liked it but it was that long ago that I can't really remember if I liked it or not. <laughs> so starting with my cheek I'm just going to blend this in with my beauty blender. Okay so this is blended in it's so easily. Usually with my foundations like I find it quite hard to blend them in sometimes. I feel like with this one you can work quite a lot with it in quite a long space of time. Sometimes you apply a matte foundation and you stick you put it on and it literally just sticks and you can't blend it out anymore and that's when it goes really really patchy. Probably could have gone with a shade darker because I feel like I look very pale right now. <laughs> My neck's quite a bit darker than my face. So that foundation was $10.99 from Superdrug. I tried the Maybelline Superstay Liquid Foundation which is a 24 hour one which I don't think that's matte and I really really like that one. I thought that I bought that one but I obviously didn't. Now I'm going in with the Elf Camo Concealer. This is 16 hour wear and I'm using the shade Light Peach. Absolutely love the Elf Camo CC foundation as well. That is so so good. That is also full coverage. I was going to use that one today but I am using quite a lot of Elf products anyway so I just wanted to mix it up a bit and use Maybelline for my foundation. So I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. I'm going to put it in the middle of my forehead and on my chin as well. Blend that out using my beauty blender again. You know what? This is going on so nicely. I'm so happy with it. Like, I always forget how good drugstore products are. I don't know why. I just always tend to just buy like the best high-end foundation out there because you're going to think it's going to be, if for that price point, you're going to think, oh my God, that is literally going to be the best foundation I'm ever going to use. You know what? Using these two products, it just 
proves that drugstore products can be just as good as high-end products. Apart from the foundation looking a bit too light for me, I actually, I am so happy with the finish of it, of both the concealer and the foundation, like they've both done a really good job. Next I'm going to use the Sosu Contour Stick in the shade Cool, these are £10.95. Now these, I have used these for so long, so long, I absolutely love them, I feel like I've, I've used them for at least three years. So easy to use, they blend out so well and they do them in three different colours so they do cool, warm and dark. So I'm going to go underneath my cheekbones, over my forehead. So I'm just going to get my sponge and just blend upwards. So I just blended this side out and I absolutely love it again with the foundation. This, they both really work well together. So now I'm just going to blend out my forehead. Now I've added some definition to my face, I definitely look more like me now. Oh my god, change of subject, but I went to Aldi and I picked up some no sausage um, bean cheese melt. And oh my god, they are so good. I'm not vegan, but I think it's good to try different things. and. I actually really enjoy like if there's a ve if there's like something vegan on the menu like you know um, McDonald's has come out with a vegan burger I think I'm just like yeah I want to try it they have thoughts on becoming vegan definitely someone who likes to wean themselves into something whether that be if I like start to be pescatarian first maybe yeah we'll see so next I'm going in with the Elf Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines this is six pounds just start doing little circles onto my cheekbones. I'm going to put this on my cheekbones and also onto my forehead and probably onto my nose as well. So these create such a gorgeous sheen to the makeup as well. I'm not really sure what's in them but they've obviously got some kind of like oily base in them. As you can see it's really created a little bit of a sheen on my cheekbone too. Now I've done bronzer, I'm now going to use the e.l.f. Putty Blush, this is also £6 and this is in the shade Tahiti, it's such a gorgeous colour. I am just going to apply it to the tops of my cheekbones. I also like to put it on my nose as well and also on the temples. Now I'm using the Revolution Baking Powder in the shade Lace. I'm a bit scared to use this, not going to lie. I'm going to use this underneath my eyes. So I think this is $5.99. So I've stuck the bottom of my Beauty Blender into the lid and I'm literally just going to look up and pat this underneath my eye. I'm going to show you the difference. This is the side of powder, this is without powder. Um, I'm very pleasantly surprised to be honest. I absolutely love my Charlotte Tilbury powder and to be honest I've actually moved back to my Laura Mercier uh, loose powder now for going underneath my eyes. I really really like it. I love the colour as well. I've got, I went for like the more pinkier shade because I thought that would help to minimise any darkness underneath my eyes. So now I'm going to use the Halo Glow setting powder from e.l.f. This is £8. And just before I set my full face actually I'm just going to go over it with my beauty blender just to make Make sure I get out any creases from where I've been smiling. So I've got my brush and I'm literally just going to pat it in to the places where I get oily the most first. Literally just using little patting motions and patting it into the skin. Now I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer. And it looks like this. And I really love the packaging on this actually. Feels really nice. And I'm just gonna get my brush and apply it over my cheekbones. So this is also nine pounds. I'm also just patting it into my forehead as well. I always like to use patting motions instead of like a oh, like blend. If you've applied too much, just go back in with your beauty blender and just go over it a tiny little bit. So now I'm going to be using this Milani. Oh my god, I can't speak. So now I'm going to be using this Milani blush. This is in the shade Luminoso, 
and you can get this from Boots for £11.50. So as you can see it's a pinky shade with a gorgeous sheen to it as well and I'm literally just going to get my same brush as I used for the bronzer and just swirl it around in there and apply it to the tops of my cheekbones. I'm also again going to apply the blush to my temples and to my nose. I absolutely love Milani blushes. I feel like they're definitely my favourite drugstore powder blush. They are just so pretty and they always have this really nice sheen to them as well. I literally had this for so long. Um, I just keep forgetting to use it. Like I, I always use my Laura Mercier watermelon blush now or a high-end blush, but I'm like, I need to use this more often. Now on to brows, and I'm using the Rimmel Brow Pro Micro Pencil. I'm using it in the shade Soft Brown. This is also £7.99 from Boots. I'm literally just gonna go underneath where my brow hair start. Very pigmented. I just follow the natural shape. And then I'll just do little flicks upwards. I used to buy the Rimmel pencil back when I was in school and I was like 15, 16. No, I must have been younger than that. I think I was like 14, 15. And they always used to be way too um, warm for my brow hairs, but they've obviously changed the colours of them. And gone for a lot more of an ashier tone. Yeah, this is literally the perfect colour for my eyebrows. If you've got a similar eyebrow colour to me, this is soft brown. I'll definitely be using this again. So now I'm going on to eyes and I'm going to use this e.l.f. I love you a latte palette and this is £4. I'm just going to mix these two bottom shades together and I'm just swirling those shades round into my crease just to add some definition to my eye. These eyeshadows are so good, you know, they just blend in so well and they're never patchy. So now I've done a little bit of smoky eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with this eyeliner, it's from Maybelline and it's the Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner, I got it in brown, it's £8.99 from Boots. I'm going to do a winged liner with this and I think it'll be quite easy because the tip is so tiny. I've never used this before but I'm really excited to use it, it looks like it's going to be quite good. So I'm going to start doing my liner, I'm going to speed the process up a bit because it takes me so long to do it. <laughs> Okay, so I've just done one eye and I'm so happy with it. Like, it is so easy to use. I go off camera and do the other eye. Okay, so now after my eyeliner, I've done a little inner flicks as well for that really catty eye look. I'm gonna go back in with this e.l.f. palette and then with the darkest shade, I'm gonna put this underneath my eye and really smoke it out. So now I've just got a bit more of a fluffy brush and I'm just literally um, tickling at the edges from where I've made that dark brown line. So now I've smoked underneath my eyes out, I'm going to go in with this So Su Cold Pencil in Brown. I spoke about this in my last video and I absolutely love it. I'm going to put this in the waterline of my eye and you can get it for £9. Okay, so I've done this side, you can really see how much of a difference it makes. It really just defines the eye and makes it look a lot more bold. I'm actually going to go back in with this palette again and then use the top two lighter colours and just add some more definition into the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just concentrating the brush on this part of my eye here, so the very outer edge, and I'm just buffing the eyeshadow outwards here. So now I'm going to add the glitter. I'm going to use the So Su Liquid Eye Shimmer in gold. Um, I think this was actually part of a Christmas gift set that they sent me. I just had a look at how much it is. It did come in in a gift set. It came with this and a gold coal eyeliner pencil and you can get them both for £6.24. 
uh, which I think is a really good deal. I'm not sure they're going to discontinue it or not though because it was part of a Christmas gift set. If they do discontinue it, I'll do a really nice liquid eye shimmer as well. Um, and they do like so many different colours so you can get them from there. So I'm going to get the applicator and literally just apply it in the middle of my lid. I'm going to wait for this to dry and then if I feel like I need to add a bit more definition into the outer corners of my eyes then I will do, we'll just have to see. So now I'm going to use the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara, this is £7 from Boots. Now I've done mascara I'm going to go on to lashes and I'm going to use the Sosi Lashes in the style Milan, you can get these from Primark. It says they are €5.50, I'm um, not sure what that is in pounds but I think they are around five pounds. If you followed me on Instagram for a while, you will know I absolutely love Sosu lashes. You can reuse them and reuse them and reuse them and they just look amazing every time you put them on. So I have ended up cutting quite a bit off them, as you can see, just so they can fit nicely, just as a little corner lash and it really gives you that lifted look. I've now applied lashes and I've also added a little bit more curl liner into my waterline. My eyes get so watery sometimes when I'm doing makeup and it just kind of like washes out. Also my nose always runs when I do makeup, so like I feel like the end of my nose doesn't have any makeup on right now. <laughs> Next I am going on to lip liner and lipstick. I'm actually going to use the Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner from e.l.f. in the shade Deep Brown. And then I'm just going to shade the corners of my lips in. And then just blend it out with my finger. After I did liner, I just went in with the Max Factor Color Elixir Soft Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, and this is in the shade Sand Cloud. And I just put a tiny little bit, like two little dots in the middle of my lips. And just get my finger and just dab my finger into my lips. If you want some extra definition to your lips, just again, go over the bits where you shaded in the outer corners uh, with your lip liner. If you like me and you like a ombre lip, I've put a tiny little bit of foundation onto the back of my hand, and when I mean tiny, like small, I've just dabbed my finger in it and I'm just pressing that into the middle of my lips. So guys, this is the finished look. I just did put a posy bit in with my hair in a different way. Um, I don't really know if I prefer my hair up or down. I always end up with my hair like this after I've done a video for some reason. But yeah, I'm so, so happy with the finished look. The only thing is I'm not sure if over time this foundation did agree with me. And I don't think on my skin it is 30 hour wear just because it has started to like, lift off in places if you get what I mean. Every other product I've been so happy with, especially, I just feel like e.l.f. and the Sosu products are all just all around really, really good products. And every time they come out with something, it always seems to be really, really good. So yeah, that is it from me. I hope this video has helped you get an idea of which drugstore makeup products are really good. And I'll definitely be back with some more makeup videos very soon. 